and the Grand Palace opens at 8.30, so we've got about an hour to get some breakfast. Noodles recommended by a breakfast day two. Yeah, these are so cheap. Thank you. What is this one? Oh, is it the same one as the previous one? Huh. All for 150. 150 Thai baht. No. Round two for 150 Thai baht. <laughs> It's a yummy. Yum. So the Grand Palace opens at 8.30 a.m. I highly recommend showing up at exactly 8.30 because it won't be too crowded and the weather won't be too hot. We got there right when they opened and already there were a few tour groups there. The Grand Palace was built in 1782 and is no doubt one of the most famous landmarks in Bangkok. For 150 years, this place was home for the Thai King, the royal court, and administrative seat of the government. Where's mom? Where's mom? Oh, wait, no, that's not her. Is that her? Oh. So the Grand Palace is made up of a number of complex buildings, halls, gardens, and lawns, and it's surrounded by four walls. This is to the right outside Grand Palace. <laughs> Yeah, so we decided to take a tuk tuk to get from the Grand Palace to Wat Pho. It's walkable, but under the hot sun, we decided to just take a tuk tuk for the experience. Wat Pho is the temple of the reclining Buddha. It is the largest and oldest Buddhist temple in Bangkok, most famous for the enormous gold-plated reclining Buddha, 
which shows the passing of the Buddha into final nirvana after death. The soles of the Buddha's feet shows in great detail the characteristics of the Buddha. After exploring Wat Pho for about an hour and a half, we walked over to the pier to take a ferry ride to Wat Arun, which is the Temple of Dawn. So to get to the pier, we had to walk through this marketplace, um, and it was very interesting to see you know, these local shops, um, barber shops, just the regular everyday um, shops. Compared to Wat Tho, Wat Arun is definitely less crowded because, you know, you do need to take a boat to get there. Um, so the temple grounds, you know, there's so many buildings to explore and all these buildings have, you know, their own art, their own um, story and, you know, it's just very colorful and beautiful to look around. The actual temple itself is beautiful, it's so tall and unique and it's very different from all the other temples that you'll see in Bangkok. After taking a bunch of pictures, we took the ferry back to the other side of the river and used the Grab app to take a taxi to go to Chinatown. We ended up settling for this restaurant called Nam Sing. They are famous for their bird's nest soup, but they also have lots of fresh seafood. Okay. Thank you. Uh, curry crab. Okay. Yeah. So you see you're not really a big Oh. Okay. Okay. It's raw though. I got. Whoa. So this is what is this called again? A swallow's nest. Red. Red swallow's nest. Oh, and a papaya. You have to put the these things inside. After eating, you can check out their shelves of swallow's nest. They've got, you know, red swallow's nest, lots of different kinds. Mm. 
durian milk chocolate. Whoa, they have, they've got like durian flower rolls. And then freeze dried durian. Durian sticks. Vacuum freeze dried. More freeze dried. Durian. Oh. A soft cake filled with durian. Oh, oh he wants to open the package. Oh, hi, kitty. Oh, wait, where's the second one? Oh, there's, Mom, there's another one right there. After enjoying a meal and wandering around Chinatown, we wanted to go to Icon Siam, which is a brand new grand mall. And there is a free shuttle that will take you from the Chinatown Pier to you know the front steps of Icon Siam. The water show. Siam Sook is the ground floor floating market. You can find temples, long boats, and enjoy traditional Thai snacks and crafts. So Icon Siam is the mother of all malls with over 500 shops and 100 restaurants from 30 different countries. This is actually a brand new mall. They opened to the public in 2018 and they offer high-end brands, indoor floating market, an art gallery, and much more. Walking around the floating market, I was amazed with, you know, how much variety was available for us and, you know, everything wasn't even that expensive. Finally, for our last stop, we took a grab car and headed to Asiatic. Located by the riverside, Asiatic is one of the most popular and unique night markets in Bangkok. Durian Shack Buffet. But I don't like durians. So. This is a great place to go for shopping, eating, and you can watch some live Muay Thai boxing here. This night market used to be an international trade port but is now converted into a huge replica warehouse complex with over 1,500 boutiques and 40 restaurants. Durian sticky rice. Hi, rice. Oh, that's Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, it's fine. You can kind of see it. So the boys wanted to watch some live Muay Thai, which was fine for us because, you know, more time for us to shop. Um, but the tickets were kind of expensive. They were about 50 US dollars per person. So this concludes day two of our Bangkok trip. 
We explored many different places and I was super tired, but overall a fun day. Hope you enjoyed this.